are starting here in Buckaloons and going down to Crawls Island the first night. Second night we're going from Crawls all the way down to McGuire Island next to Tidia. And from there, we're going down to West Hickory and driving the 20 minutes back to Buckaloons and calling it a day. You can fit this anywhere on your board. Yeah, that. Oh my god! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. It all fit on the board. About to make our way down the Allegheny River. And one of our favorite spots here at Buckaloon's Recreation Area. Nowhere to camp anywhere in Western or Central, wherever we are. PA on this holiday weekend. Oh my goodness. So, this is going to be an yeah. interesting adventure, finding some river camping, hopefully, on the we'll next see. island. Hopefully there's something at Crow's Island. Or movie camping in the, in the forest. <laughs> Alright, so we have a three-day, two-night adventure on the Allegheny River. We're going to be, our original plan was to come to Bacaloons, maybe get a camping spot, then head up to Starbrick and then come back the two and a half miles to here and then camp. But that campsite was all booked up. So what we have to do now is load up our boards and head down to Crawls Island. There's three camping spots on the right side, so we just gotta hope one of them is available for us. It's uh, quarter to six. We thought we were gonna get on the river at 2 p.m. So that's a lesson. For every trip we have, it's always hours later. Yes, I, I, I see you waving there like it's your fault. We're permitted to camp on all these islands in this section of river, unless they're marked private. So we will be camping on one of these islands. No matter what, I got a hammock <laughs> and we got a tent, so we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. Coming up on the Crawls Island. We've never been to the left. So we're not sure what's on the left side if there aren't camp spots. Hey, let's just pull up to the front of it and I'll get out and walk down the left a little bit. There was a one on the left side about 50 yards in. Looked okay. But why not risk it all for the really super awesome nice one? Nothing really beats these sunset paddles, though. I think we should stop and do the same thing. Just walk. And then, I'm pretty sure this is a campsite. I didn't want to change. You're okay with that? No, very good call. It's late, yeah. It's not like we have. I guess let's figure out what we're Well, we can do. set up our tent over there. That's the flattest, and there's grass. I and like then we have three fire pits to yeah. choose from. And I like that. I'm going to start four fires. Okay. All at the same time. I like that we can see up that way plus that way, like more panoramic. That works. You know what I mean? Here's our site. Okay. So, one of the most helpful hints for paddling trips get dry bags that are different colors and different sizes. I have orange, green, yellow, blue, green, gray, electronics in one, camping in one, food in another. And then you know by the color coordination of it all. Look how organized I am. It's amazing. The other trick is bring your wine in a bladder. Fancy, useful, no issue, no glass. We it's don't bring glass to the river. Just a giant juice box. And then we get to test out our oh. string lights tonight. Ah, I forgot about that. Yes, you got a squeal. They look nice. They add a lot of ambiance to it. Looks good. Does it look good? It looks real good. It looks so good. That was a good $20 purchase on Amazon. Oh my god. Plus, I don't feel like I need to use my headlamp. You know what I mean? Yeah.
We left the cafe lights on all night. Still on. Seven hours later. Boards are all set, ready to push off. It's around 11.30 on Monday, Labor Day weekend. We've got the first campsite on the right side of Crows Island. There's a nice rock beach and plenty of room up there. Seven or eight fire spots, <laughs> three bags of garbage. But other than that, a very nice spot. All right, let's start our 12 miles down to Maguire Island. Up on the right side, we're coming up to a rope swing. I know across from there is a really great campsite. Here's the spot in the middle, Cross Island. Nice big tent area spot right there. Someone made a little bench. And then another flat spot right over there, right across from the rope swing. All right, we're coming towards the end of Crow's Island. We saw two really good ones. There's supposed to be a third. I think we just passed that by. But first two look awesome. And this looks shallow coming up. And a little bit of scraping. Come on. Great thing. And I'm stuck. Cool. I'm just gonna hang out here for a while. Beautiful day. Little scrapage. That's why I have my water shoes on right now. I knew it was gonna be tight. Oh, come on. See Carrie all the way back there. Just taking a good old time. Coming up to Thompson Island. We have went to the left two times, so we're gonna try for the right. There's that little pavilion there up on the left. We got caught in the lightning storm one time and had to take shelter under there for an hour. I think that was our first time on the river, maybe second time. Did we? That's the one we took shelter under, remember? It looks so different when it's not storming. <laughs> Yeah, no, we're coming to the end of Thompson's. I don't see anything on this right side. But my fin is hitting every single rock. I'm coming up pretty fast behind you. I'd watch out for the wave behind. It's gonna knock you off your board. You enjoying your nap on the board? Mmm. Oh, I'd like to wake up. This is one of the hottest days I've felt in my life. Yeah. One of the great things about paddle boards is you can stand up, sit down, lay down like Carrie. End of No Name Island after Thompson's, you can see someone in this hammock up there. So, and you can see right there in between those two trees, it's kind of little fire pit. So that looks like a pretty good spot to camp as well. But there you go. And then no one name island looks like a pretty good spot. There's definitely somebody over there. Yeah. End of the island. So you will get sunset 
and sunrise around you. Ooh, that looks like a really good spot. Yeah, those end of the island ones are so nice. You can see the end of No Name Island there. And then on the left side of the river, maybe like 150, 200 yards up on the left side, looks like there's a pretty nice camping spot, which we're gonna have lunch at. Just finished a fantastic lunch. So it would be a pretty good camping spot. Lots of flat ground, some nice grass, fallen trees for burning, and then right along the river. All right, we're coming up to the island that's about a mile before Stewart's Island. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but I know there are, if you go on the right side, there's some rapids at the end. Last time we did these, Carrie screwed these up. Let's see if she can redeem herself. It's scraping if I go too far left. It wants me to go straight into those rapids. I avoided them. Four o'clock, hottest part of the day, definitely feeling it. Yeah, it's in that middle point where it's too far away from all the other launches for people to go. So, just on the end of the island next to Stewart, it just looks like someone brought a lawnmower out and took cut a few spots. The wind is so strong right now, Carrie can't get her hat on. Ah. Yep, I'm scraping. I'm excited to see what my fin looks like at the end of this. Coming up fast on your right, watch out. And we're walking. I think we found that every time.
spots on the left side of Millstone Island. Did not see any camp spots on the left. We got Fuel Heart, Corson, and then we're there. Only 5,000 miles to go. We're coming up on Fuel Heart Island. It's one of the few private islands on the river. I know they have a cottage and a few tent spots you can get. So that's your preference. It's somewhere on the internet. I just have no interest in that. I'd rather just go a little bit farther to Orson or Wire. There's the Bonnie Bray launch on the left. Over less than half a mile to Orson Island. We got McGuire Island coming up. Orson on the far left. I only saw one spot to camp at on the right side. So we'll go out McGuire Island from the left. The great camp spots at the end of the island. Coming up to our end spot on McGuire Island. Got sunset in an hour, plenty of time to set up. Well, one year we came here and there were chairs. Now there's a table. <laughs> Someone was nice enough to leave us a table. <laughs> and one of the best reasons for this spot on the island you get sunset. We have so many lights. We got a beautiful fire going. We got the cafe lights. We have the headlight into a bottle of water for a mini lantern. Carrie is having a great time over there, getting us all prepped. Let's talk about our table. Oh, someone left us a table. So nice. Got our cafe lights right next to it. You don't even need more lights than that. Nope. I mean, I got my spotlight right in your eye, but you know, not too bad. Here's the first of the three camp spots at McGuire Island. This one's the smallest one. Grassy, one or two flat spots. Bunch of big trees for hammocks. Nice rocky beach. And about 50 feet up is the second spot on McGuire. This is usually our favorite spot, but there is a fallen tree this time and it's a little overgrown. So we went with the farthest spot up. This spot's the largest one. And someone was nice enough to leave a whole, whole wire in the fire pit. That was nice of them. And then just 40, 50 yards down is the final spot. Which we took today. Board feels deflated. How's my board look? Looks fine. Looks high. Okay. Good morning. It's third day of our trip and we are leaving McGuire Island and Tituit heading to West Hickory. I think about a nine to ten mile day. We got a lot of ground to cover as quickly as we can because we have plans tonight. 
<laughs> three hour drive home. Gorgeous 90 plus degree day. We woke up to some fog, which is pretty cool. Just cleared about a half hour ago. Let's go. All right, we'll come on up on a Tidia boat launch. It's about three quarters of a mile from the end of McGuire Island. Just stopping here to drop off all the trash. We almost got a full trash bag from our trash and then the trash at the two campsites we went to. They could be trash people. Not that hard. So this is a pretty nice launch area. We've done overnights and left our car here twice. It's a nice parking lot. There should be a bathroom in the back left, but every time I've went to it, it's been closed. So maybe I'll get lucky today. It'll be open. And you can see plenty of parking for your trucks and trailers. And there's like 10 spots for just cars. Nice concrete ramp down, a little playground there. There's a gas station and a few restaurants in town if you need to load up with supplies as well. Coming up on our first set of ripples, just after the Tidia Bridge. Let's see how Carrie does with these bad boys. No name island after to see it. No clue what it clean is. We're about two and a half miles from McGuire Island. Floating along strong. 43 minutes. 20 minute miles. Got a little sweat going on. Yeah, it's going to be a hot one. Pretty orange flowers growing from the middle of them. Maybe a beaver den. We have. Yeah, there's water levels on it. One, two, three, four, five. It says L plus A, 23, and Shaw, 17. Cool. But I don't know what the water levels are for. I was just looking at Google, and apparently there's a rail trail from Tidiot a little bit farther down on our right side of the river. I don't think it has like the uh, crushed limestone surface. It's such just primitive surface, but so it starts from Tidiot and goes a few miles down. How's it going? Can't complain on a day like this in September. Yeah. It's a hell of a camp spot right there. Yeah, damn. Huge. I can I can see why. <laughs> I see it. Really? <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> Beautiful spot. Yeah. Scrape, scrape. Oh. Make it, please make it. When it's super shallow like this, I push up to the front of my board uh, and still hit. Uh. Coming up on Hemlock Island. Our last island before our put out. 
I'm excited. This is the Tuesday after Labor Day. We've seen what? Four kayakers? Five? One boater. One boat, two boaters. Boaters. And five kayaks on 10 miles of the river on a 90 degree day. Working. Yeah. So we're coming up on Amlock Island. We're kind of in like a nice little river valley. River's at its widest here. There is no flow to it at all. There's so many of these on the Allegheny River where it's just like the wind is at your face. The water's not moving. It's like, oh, sweet. We have a mile to the next island or something where it narrows and gets a little faster. Luckily, it's 95 degrees though, so. Yeah. Stop here, you're gonna turn in a circle. Lots of good camping spots on Hemlock. But it is private, but they still let you camp there. You just gotta be respectful. Follow some of the rules they have posted. Like, don't litter. That seems like hard rule to follow. We ended up going on the left side of Hemlock Island. You can see there's a campsite back there. There's one here, it's a little hillside. There, I think all of them on the left side, there's a little hillside to get up there, but then it's flat up on top. This might be the last one. So we're just having a little lunch on our paddle boards. Some chicken from Sheets, some eggs, grapes, Perfect little snack on a hot day. We're coming to our journey's end. Three days, two nights on the Allegheny River, starting at Bocaloons, all the way down to West Hickory. First day was about a mile, mile and a half from Bocaloons to Crawls Island, where we stayed. Second day was 12 miles from Crawls Island all the way down to Maguire's Island, which is right next to Tituit. Tidiot, Tuda, Tuduit, however you say that correctly. Tiyut. And then day three was Maguire's Island all the way down here to West Hickory. That was around nine miles. Took us three and a half hours. Had some pretty good 20 minute miles. And then a little lackadaisical 30 minute miles at the end. It got hot. Very hot. Yeah. But lovely trip. What's our animal countdown? We saw four to five bald eagles. Yeah, lots of other big birds, I'm not sure. Some ospreys. No deer. No beavers. One one snapping turtle. Yes, that's oh yeah, I saw, saw that. Really um, mild on the bugs. Bugs were not bad at all, and the uh, no rodents, no snakes. So a lot of good camping spots so we now know for the future. Super enjoyable, very pretty. Not a lot of people on the river, really any day for us. Yeah, we came on Labor Day weekend and we started on Sunday and all the parking lots were packed. And the river was packed. The river was packed, but none, no one was, it didn't seem like anyone was staying overnight because Crawls Island was empty. Yeah. So. Bacaloons was packed. Couldn't stay there. People tend to like the campgrounds. Yeah. They're easier. But great trip. Another successful paddle down the Allegheny River. Gets better and better each time. Now we're gonna load up our car and do the 25 minute drive back to Bacaloons. There's no bathroom here at the West Hickory launch, so we gotta wait till Buckaloons. If we can wait. Good adventure.